Rocky Jones. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In The Trial of Rocky Jones, Chapter 3. When we last saw Rocky Jones, he was imprisoned on Ankapur, the moon where the people live underground. False charges of attempted murder and piracy have been brought against Rocky by Griff, Rudy DeMarco, and Dr. Reno. We're home, Rocky. The ball game is won. What? Clark from space station OW9 just landed on Ankapur. Secretary Drake has been alerted and he's on his way here. Yes, but who told him what was going on? But I was on trial here on Ankapur. Easy, boy, easy. Don't speed me past this beautiful moment. Come on, but tell me, who was it? So beautiful. Pinto Matondo. Yeah, Rocky. Griff had him shanghaied out of here on his spaceship. The ship stopped for refueling on space station OW9, and Pinto was able to steal everything to Clark. Where's Pinto? Clark brought him back here. Vina and Bobby have him salted away, and he just can't wait to talk. <laughs> As only Pinto can. He's our surprise witness, Rocky. And I can't wait to see the expressions on the faces of Griff, Reno, and Rudy. Open up. We're ready for action. Fire one. Boom! in the prisoner. Council will step forward. It is my desire to finish this business of Rocky Jones' trial as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. If you have a witness, please proceed. I call Pinto Batondo to the stand. Don't worry. Pinto is a million miles away. Pinto Batondo! Who is it, of course, Pinto Batondo? So beautiful. <laughs> Maybe it's you, you, or you. But Pinto doubts it very much. <laughs> Maybe you call Pinto Bartando, huh? <laughs> Witness will take the stand. What Pinto has told you is true. Rocky Jones is completely innocent. Rudy DeMarco hurts Pinto very much until Rocky comes along. What do you know about the accusation of Rocky stealing a spaceship and pirating a cargo? A frame up on Rocky Jones. Pinto hurt them. They made Rocky unconscious, put him into a spaceship alone, and it blasts off. And they put Pinto into a spaceship with two of their henchmen and whoop, we blast off. Thank you, Pinto. That'll be all. I would like to call Space Ranger Clark to the stand. As long as counsel for the defense has injected Pinto Vartando into the case, I would like to do my questioning of Clark on the same basis. Proceed. How long have you known this beggar, Pinto Vartando? Oh, uh, quite a while. The space ranger is trained to tell the truth. Will you please tell the Volga about your first meeting with Vartando? Poor Pinto. I'm in charge of space station OW9. 
A spaceship requested to be brought in for refuel, and to me, this was a routine job. But then I realized that something was wrong. So I tried to barricade myself in the control room. Clark on Space Station OW9, can you hear me? Clark to Space Ranger Service. An outlaw raiding party has landed. I can't hold out. If you can hear me, send help. OW9, repeat. If you can hear me, send help on OW9, repeat. Help on OW9. You squawk like the pirates are just as useless. Oh, shut up. Maybe you think your friend Rocky Jones can get here in time to save you, no? Yes? No. Load everything of value into the spaceship. This squawk, squawk that fills space is Pito's fine friend. Space rangers don't know what happens till it's too late. <laughs> Pito will not kill you with this. One shot into the gyrocentrific control, you're going a fine, bouncy, bouncy ride. Pinto, get in the spaceship. Pinto will be with you in one fast minute. Rocky, the image is now 280 degrees. Did you change course? Why not? The object is bobbing, sir. 290 on the scope. And now 270 again. Rocky, is something wrong with OW9's gyro centrific? According to the image reading, yes, Mina. Secure, alert, Bobby. The gyro centrific stabilizes the space station. That bobbing can mean only one thing. I'll have to try for a blind stab at the landing berth. Correct side slips. Call out high and low readings. Image dropping from center 265 degrees. Sharper calls, Bill. I'll try to ram at 270 degrees. Biff, stay at the ready while I go after Clark. I never thought we could do it, Rocky. I'll be right back. We better get the Silver Moon out of the landing pile before she's destroyed with the space station. Very interesting story, Clark, about Pinto Vortando, the pirate. Is this why Secretary Drake gave him a Medal of Honor? Clark, forgive Pinto, please. Yes? No? Maybe? Continue, Clark. Well? I got in the spaceship, the Silver Moon, with Rocky, and we took up the chase. Rocky was at the controls. Vina was trying to patch me up. Then Rocky called us. Alert, learn this. We now have image on radar vex. Approaching the challenge. Secure for possible action. Pinto Bertondo. <laughs> Near parallel with the flight of the image, sir. Do you think it's a spaceship, Rocky? Well, we can't be sure. I've chased meteors before when the visiograph wasn't working. <laughs> Peter Vartada's becoming a very rich man. <laughs> I think Peter will buy a moon, all of his own. <laughs> <laughs> to fire two missiles on a five-count biff. Explosive set for directly in path of image. Ready? Ready, sir. Fire one. Fire one. Who is it who shoots at Pito Alfano? Who is it who shoots at Pito? Prepare to fire a third missile, Biff. Explosives off, but shock object with direct hit. Ready, sir. Fire! Who is it who shoots at Pito Vartando? It's a 
ship, all right. A meteor wouldn't have broken this flight pattern. Set magnet, Biff. We'll lock alongside and board. Yes, sir. Step down, Clark. So, Rocky Jones hopes to gain his freedom through the testimony of a man whom the Space Rangers admit is a scoundrel and a bandit. Now, I ask you, LaVolga, can such a man tell the truth? I demand that Peter Vertando's testimony be stricken from the records and that he be removed from this court. LaVolga, I would like to call Bobby to the stand. I think that Pino Vortano is a very fine man, and brave, too. Sure, he's made mistakes, but I'll bet Rocky will agree he deserves a Medal of Honor that big. And if Rudy and Dr. Reno had had their way, there wouldn't be a United Worlds today. Not even in Acapur. What are you saying? If it hadn't been for Rocky Jones, there'd be ice covering the whole surface of Acapur. Professor Mayberry and Secretary Drake were the first to find out about the sun going cold. Of course, everybody was scared, but it certainly wasn't the time to be in a panic. The true state of the sun is known only to us here, and the scientists who have worked with Professor Mayberry. This is top security. Inadvertently, perhaps, you might release the news. Why not? Why not shout at the sun is going cold? The fools! Can't they feel it, see it for themselves? Why let them go on laughing? Tell them, tell them how ice will bury their cities. I prefer to wait and hope until the last possible moment. The tragic hypocrisy of Drake and the Space Rangers. That's the way history will be written in another land, under another sun. Or perhaps you and a chosen few will be there to temper the words, Mr. Secretary. The only hope of reviving the heat of the sun was to fire a Tortanic missile into it. Two of them were made, but we only got one as far as Torita, our firing base. Oh, Professor Mayberry was right. There does seem to be a crust over the sun. Well, we only have one Tortanic missile to fire to try to crash through the sun. Might as well be on its way. Well, do you need me, sir, or may I wait here? Oh, you can wait here. I'll join you after I fire the missile. If the missile is fired successfully, We'll be taken back to Earth as prisoners. There's only one thing we can do. Rocky. You're not going to fire the missile at the sun. At least, not until you bargain for our safe return to Herculon. think a man with a weapon. All right, but I've got my fists. I've licked you before in a fight and I'm gonna do it again.
on the flight, I was reading one of Bobby's books, learning what I could about the history of Earth. There was a man once who said, everybody talks about the weather, but nobody ever does anything about it. That's all changed now. <laughs> Because of Rocky Jones, the sun shines brightly and warm again. Yes, LaVolga, the Titanic missile saved the United Worlds. Yes, even Ankapor. Bobby, who conceived and designed this important missile? Professor Mayberry. And who else, Bobby? Well, you did, Dr. Reno. The two of you worked together. Thank you, Bobby. That is all. You can certainly render your verdict in the case now, the Volga. <laughs> so far, one point has been proved, that I am right in ignoring a man's past. I have heard here that Rocky Jones is a great hero, and again that he is a sorcerer, who used the magic of invisibility for nefarious gains. I witnessed a strong friendship between the Space Rangers and Pinto Votando. And again, a Space Ranger has told me that Pinto is a contemptible bandit. I repeat that I am wise in remaining aloof from foreign intrigue and entanglements. Therefore, I will judge Rocky Jones solely on the facts as they happened here on Akapur, together with what I have seen with my own eyes. Rocky Jones, I... light we have is from the Silver Moon circuit. It's not much, but it's the best we can do. Thank you so much.
Conditions in City Cave are fair, Lavolga. The people are quiet. They have great confidence in you. But our oxygen reading is low, dangerously low. I'll do what I can. I made a complete survey, Rocky, and there isn't a chance to dig out. Rocky Jones in the spaceship Silver Moon, below the surface of Ankhapur. If you can hear me, come in. Come in. Secretary Drake's spaceship should be here soon. Tony. Father. I'm so glad you're all right. It was Rocky Jones who saved us. Emergency. Rocky Jones in spaceship Silver Moon, the XV-3, below the surface of Ankhapur. Come in if you hear me. Rocky, the oxygen is running low. Isn't that an answer? And you're that fellow who didn't need help from nobody. <laughs> Pedro. Yes, Pedro, save the oxygen. Rocky Jones in the XV-3, if you can hear me, come in. There is a faint signal, Mr. Secretary. We're nearing Angkor Paul. But your signal sounded as though you were a million miles away. Professor Mayberry. And Secretary Drake, Rocky. Angkor Paul needs help, Mr. Secretary. There's been an earthquake, and we're sealed in below the surface. Perhaps you have a missile aboard that can blast an air vent through the surface. Yes, Rocky? We have one Trotanic missile on our ship. Trotanic? Gosh, Rocky, air or nowhere, I won't like riding on the target. You'll have to pinpoint your shot, Mr. Secretary, or it will only add to the destruction. Give us a target reading, Rocky. We'll do our best. Wait a minute, Mr. Secretary. Let me try to control the missile with a magnetic guide. Go into a dive and release on signal. I'll try for a surface hit just missing the silver moon. Yes, Rocky. That's our best way. Would it work, Pinto? Sure. Didn't Rocky think of it? <laughs> Gain altitude, Mr. Secretary. Give me a countdown. Clear the ship. Hey, Rocky! Clear the ship, Biff. Go to the passageway and wait there till after the explosion. Twenty thousand, Rocky. Fifteen. Fire Goodbye, La Volga. Thanks for your hospitality. Goodbye. Many thanks to you, Professor Mayberry. To think I almost let those men go free. And I almost sentenced Rocky Jones to death. But you didn't. And you've done the United Worlds a real service by allowing those criminals to be extradited. I assure you, Secretary Drake, from now on, Anchor Paul will not be a haven for criminals. I'm glad to hear that. Your ship will lead, Rocky. Yes, Mr. Secretary. Biff, get the silver moon ready. Peanut, Bobby, up the ladder. Bye, Jonica. Uh, I'm sorry, Pinto, but you'll have to go on the prisoner ship. Why is Pinto a prisoner? What has he done now? No, no, Pinto. We want you to guard the prisoners. Ah, for that, Pito gets another Medal of Honor. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> Rocky, there really isn't any way of thanking you for saving my country, my people, and my daughter. I'm so grateful for your help. Thank you, Lavolga. We might need help someday, and I'm sure you'll be there.
point has been proved, that I am right in ignoring a man's past. I have heard here that Rocky Jones is a great hero. And again, that he is a sorcerer who used the magic of invisibility for nefarious gains. I witnessed a strong friendship between the Space Rangers and Pinto Votando. And again, a Space Ranger has told me that Pinto is a contemptible bandit. I repeat that I am wise in remaining aloof from foreign intrigue and entanglements. Therefore, I will judge Rocky Jones solely on the facts as they happened here on Ankapoa, together with what I have seen with my own eyes. Rocky Jones, I... will take the stand. What Pinto has told you is true. Rocky Jones is completely innocent. Rudy DeMarco hurts Pinto very much until Rocky comes along. What do you know about the accusation of Rocky stealing a spaceship and pirating a cargo? A frame-up on Rocky Jones. Pinto heard them. They made Rocky unconscious, put him into a spaceship alone, and it blasts off. Then they put Pinto into a spaceship with two of their henchmen, and we blast off. Thank you, Pinto. That'll be all. I would like to call Space Ranger Clark to the stand. As long as counsel for the defense has injected Pinto Votando into the case, I would like to do my questioning of Clark on the same basis. Proceed. How long have you known this beggar, Pinto Votando? Oh, uh, quite a while. The Space Ranger is trained to tell the truth. Will you please tell the Volga about your first meeting with Vortando? Poor Pinto. <laughs> I'm in charge of Space Station OW9. A spaceship requested to be brought in for refuel, and to me, this was a routine job. But then I realized that something was wrong. 
So I tried to barricade myself in the control room. Clark and Space Station OW9, can you hear me? Clark to Space Ranger Service. An outlaw raiding party has landed. I can't hold out. If you can hear me, send help, OW9, repeat. If you can hear me, send help on OW9, repeat. Help on OW9. You squawk like the pirates are just as useless. Oh, shut up. Maybe you think your friend Rocky Jones can get here in time to save you, no? Yes? No. Load everything of value into the spaceship. This squawk, squawk that filled space is Pito's fine friend. Space rangers don't know what happens till it's too late. <laughs> Pito will not kill you with this. One shot into the... light we have is from the Silver Moon circuit. It's not much, but it's the best we can do. Thank you so much. Conditions in City Cave are fair, Lavold. The people are quiet. They have great confidence in you. But our oxygen reading is low, dangerously low. I'll do what I can. I made a complete survey, Rocky, and there isn't a chance to dig out. 
Rocky Jones in the spaceship Silver Moon, below the surface of Ankhapur. If you can hear me, come in. Come in. Secretary Drake's spaceship should be here soon. Johnny. Father. Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. It was Rocky Jones who saved us. Emergency. Rocky Jones in spaceship Silver Moon, the XV-3, below the surface of Ankhapur. Come in if you hear me. Rocky, the oxygen is running low. Isn't it an answer? And you're that fellow who didn't need help from nobody. <laughs> Pedro. Yes, Pedro, save the oxygen. Rocky Jones in the XV-3, if you can hear me, come in. There is a faint signal, Mr. Secretary. We're nearing Ankhapur. But your signal sounded as though you were a million miles away. Professor Mayberry. And Secretary Drake, Rocky. Ankhapur needs help, Mr. Secretary. There's been an earthquake, and we're sealed in below the surface. Perhaps you have a missile aboard that can blast an air vent through the surface. Yes, Rocky. We have one Trotanic missile on our ship. Trotanic? Gosh, Rocky, air or nowhere, I won't like riding on the target. You'll have to pinpoint your shot, Mr. Secretary, or it will only add to the destruction. Give us a target reading, Rocky. We'll do our best. Wait a minute, Mr. Secretary. Let me try to control the missile with a magnetic guide. Go into a dive and release on signal. I'll try for a surface hit just missing the silver moon. Yes, Rocky. That's a graph wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Vartan is becoming a very rich man. <laughs> I think Peter will buy a moon, all of his own. <laughs> Fair to fire two missiles on a five count, Biff. Explosive set for directly in path of image. Ready? Ready, sir. Fire one. Fire one. Who is it who shoots at Pito Alfaro? Who is it who shoots at Pito? Prepare to fire third missile, Biff. Explosives off, but shock object with direct hit. Ready, sir. It's a spaceship, all right. A meteor wouldn't have broken its flight pattern. Set magnet, Biff. We'll lock alongside and board. Yes, sir. Rocky Jones hopes to gain his freedom through the testimony of a man whom the Space Rangers admit is a scoundrel and a bandit. Now I ask you, LaVolga, can such a man tell the truth? I demand that Peter Vertando's testimony be stricken from the records and that he be removed from this court. LaVolga, I would like to call Bobby to the stand. Very 
interesting story, Clark, about Pinto Portando, the pirate. Is this why Secretary Drake gave him a Medal of Honor? Clark, forgive Pinto, please. Yes? No? Maybe? Continue, Clark. Well, I got in the spaceship, the Silver Moon, with Rocky, and we took up the chase. Rocky was at the controls. Vina was trying to patch me up. Then Rocky called us. Alert, learn this. We now have image on radar vex. Approaching the challenge. Secure for possible action. Pinto Bertondo. Near parallel with the flight of the image, sir. Do you think it's a spaceship, Rocky? Well, we can't be sure. I've chased meteors before when the visiograph wasn't working. <laughs> Peter Vartan is becoming a very rich man. <laughs> I think Peter will buy a moon, all of his own. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to fire two missiles on a five-count biff. Explosive set for directly in path of image. Ready? Ready, sir. Fire one. Fire one. Who is it who shoots at Pito Alfano? Who is it who shoots at Pito? Prepare to fire a third missile, Biff. Explosives off, but shock object with direct hit. Ready, sir. It's a spaceship, all right. A meteor wouldn't have broken its flight pattern. Set magnet, Biff. We'll lock alongside and board. Yes, sir. 